Wii U finally gets its launch day orders. The Mass Effect trilogy will soon be in one box, and the PS3 is getting a little frisky in its digital promotions. All of this and much, much more today on The Grill. Let's do it, baby. Hello and welcome to the September 29th installment of GamerNode.com's Hot Off The Grill. Senior Editor Jason Finelli here once again, dishing all of the biggest news from the past week. Big stuff going on right here, let's not waste any time, get right to it. This week Nintendo announced the official 23 title launch lineup for the Wii U coming out November 18th. The launch lineup is as follows. Call of Duty Black Ops 2, Skylanders Giants, Transformers Prime and Wipeout 3, all from Activision, Epic Mickey 2 The Power of 2 from Disney Interactive, FIFA 13 from EA, Tekken Tag Tournament 2 from Namco Bandai, New Super Mario Bros. U, Ninja Gaiden 3, Razor's Edge, Nintendo Land, and Sing Party from Nintendo themselves. Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transform from Sega. Warriors Orochi 3 Hyper from Tecmo Kelly. Darksiders 2 from THQ. Assassin's Creed 3, ESPN Sports Connection, Just Dance 4, Rabbids Land, Your Shape, Fitness Evolve 2013, and Zombie U from Ubisoft, clocking in with the most at six titles. And three from Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment, Scribblenauts Unlimited, Game Party Champions, and Batman Arkham City Armored Edition. Now that is a solid lineup of games. And I know personally that Mario U, Zombie U, Scribblenauts Unlimited, and technically Nintendo Land, because I'm getting the deluxe package, are all coming home with me. That is a nice, varied lineup of games. So which are you taking home with your Wii U on November the 18th? Anyone who missed the boat on Bioware's epic sci-fi trilogy Mass Effect will soon be able to redeem themselves with the Mass Effect trilogy, releasing on Xbox 360 and PC on November 6th. All three games will be included in one package for $59.99. The package will also be coming out on PS3 at a later date, marking the first time that the original Mass Effect will be available to Sony fans on the PS3. Now if you already bought Mass Effect 2 and 3 on the PS3, do not fret. Mass Effect 1 will be available as a digital download by itself when the trilogy finally announces on the system. Personally, I think this is a great idea, but I'm a little wary about the fact that they never mentioned if the DLC for these games will be included. It'll kind of suck if you buy all three games and then have to buy all of those DLC packages in one fell swoop. I'm hoping that doesn't happen, but you never know. Regardless, if you haven't played Mass Effect, first of all, what the hell have you been waiting for? And secondly, come November 6th, if you're not buying Halo 4, you don't have an excuse anymore. Get the trilogy. Normally, I don't get very excited for On Tap. There are games that I like, but it's not like I'm pulling my hair out wanting to play these games. This week, this week is a different story. My mug is cold, my mug is frosty, and my mug is ready for what is On Tap this week. Resident Evil 6 finally hits stores after a 10 month build up after its announcement in January. Three separate campaigns which makes up double the amount of time that Resident Evil 5 was will make this one of the biggest games Capcom has ever made, not just in the Resident Evil franchise, but ever. If zombies aren't your thing, if you're more of a sports guy, NBA 2K13 is coming out on Tuesday as well which means that you'll have plenty of basketball to play. This is annually one of the best, if not the best, sports game that comes out, so I'm sure you guys are chomping at the bit for some basketball action. On the digital scene, Sega is coming out with two big time titles that you can download starting Tuesday and Wednesday. HD version of Nights Into Dreams, the Sega Saturn Classic, and Sonic Adventure 2, one of the best games on the PS2 and Dreamcast and so on. A lot of games this week, I know I'm getting my zombie on, but what is on tap for you? Sony announced a new digital campaign this week that shows they're really getting serious on the digital front. Players will be able to pre-order and download full copies of big time upcoming titles, some of which are at a discount. PlayStation Plus owners will be able to pre-order NBA 2K13, Dishonored, Doom 3 BFG Edition, and Need for Speed Most Wanted at a 10% discount while they'll also be able to pre-order and download Resident Evil 6, Medal of Honor Warfighter, Assassin's Creed 3, and 007 Legends for normal price. Now this sounds great, but there are a lot of stipulations. You have to be a PS Plus member, you have to be willing to do digital download, no hard copies, you have to be able to pay up front and be willing to download these games. Now, which is a problem because PS3's download speeds can be really, really slow. If you're doing this, I recommend that you do it when you're hungry so you start the download, go make a sandwich, and have plenty of time to come back. Otherwise, if you don't mind the digital download and you like being able to go to work and come back and have the game ready to go, 
and this might be for you. We'll see what actually happens with it, but who knows? It could work out. An anonymous programmer took the time to patch two classic PC games that launched over 10 years ago, Thief 2 and System Shock. The patch included gameplay improvements, bug fixes, graphical updates, resolution support, including texture quality, and a little bit more. Now, it's very odd that a guy would take the time to patch a game such as these, considering how old they are, but when you like a game, I guess you want to make it the best it can be. I know there are plenty of vintage PC players who are loving this idea right now and are booting up Thief 2 as we speak. Kudos to you, sir, whoever you are out there. And maybe you can patch some other classic games for us too. I had the opportunity to watch the most recent trailer for Dead Island Riptide this week. And all I can say is whoever is in charge of that at Techland or Deep Silver or whoever it is, they better get a promotion stat. And I'll explain why in this week's You Win. You Win! So far, there have been two Dead Island games, and both games have had stellar reveal CGI trailers. And they were stellar for three reasons. One, emotion. These, these trailers are all about the sadness and emotion of the moment and what's going on in these situations. The second one is the animations of not only the characters themselves, but of the zombies that are attacking. You know what's going on. It's as realistic as it possibly can. And third, the music selection. In the first game, it was the somber piano, which then built to a swelling piano orchestra, holy crap, I can't believe this is happening type of thing. It's happening again here in Dead Island Riptide. If you have not watched this trailer, I highly recommend you sit down and watch. And if it's anything like Dead Island's original trailer, which immediately piqued all of our interests, you should then be very interested in what Riptide has to offer when that comes out in 2013. Techland Deep Silver trailer guy, I don't know who you are, I don't know what your team is like, but whoever it is, you win. With that, our kitchen is closing for the week. Tune in next time for more of the biggest news this industry has to offer, as well as more upcoming games on tap. Dishonored on the horizon, people. Get ready for it. Until next time, stay hungry, my friends, and thank you very much for watching.